aren't you glad that Fed Chair Powell said that they were going to let inflation run hotter than their 2%, even though they haven't been able to do that yet, or at least that would, that's what he says? I don't know, but how many times can you be lied to when you do not know the truth? So let's look at that truth and some others as well, coming up. I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, and I believe that everybody needs to be prepared and they also need to do their due diligence. That's what all of my work is about. And you know, I like to make it easy by giving you the links so that you can do that due diligence with very little effort. So make sure that you visit the blog. That's where you're going to find all of the links. But you know, okay, so the global central bankers keep calling for inflation. Well, what that really means in central bank speak is that the currency in the US, it's the US dollar, is too strong and we're going to take it down. They keep lamenting that they can't meet their 2% inflation target. But here's a recent article in the Wall Street Journal. Inflation is already here for the stuff you actually want to buy. So it's what they look at and, and how they change the accounting rules. But you and I both know that things are a lot more expensive today than they were last year, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And we also know that even the official loss of purchasing power in the dollar, you know, what, what do we have? Not 2% left. Well, honestly, you know, they pull certain things out. Oh, you can't afford to eat steaks. We're going to take steaks out of the index and we're going to put hot dogs in there. You know, well, what happens when everything just runs really, really hot? Now they're blaming it on COVID, but let's see. Stuff we want to buy is pricier. Bicycles, Medicare, newspapers, cable, recreation, food at home, cleaning, rent, mortgages, real estate, college, those insurance. I mean, the list is, goes on and on and on. What's cheaper? Food at work at school, cause we're not going there. So yeah, it's cheaper. Shoes, cause we're not walking anywhere. City transport, hotels and similar. Women's dresses, men's suits, airline fares. Well, actually I don't think the airline fares are cheaper because I checked and they weren't cheaper. Not that I'm going anywhere, mind you, but I was curious for perhaps a future trip that I want to take. So, you know, they count what we don't care about and what we don't really use, and they don't count what we actually use. And so by him telling us that it's running, that they're going to allow it to run hotter, I hope you really are ready for hyperinflation. Because you should be able to tell from the fact that they haven't been able to meet their target that they have a problem. Now, follow this link to the Chapwood Index and you'll be able to look at your particular state and see the average real inflation rate. But, you know, on the five-year average and the top 10, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, Philadelphia, Phoenix, where I live, San Antonio, San Diego, Dallas, San Jose. Let's see. Uh, the five-year average, the least five-year, the cheapest five-year average was 8.1%, and that's here in Phoenix. The highest was hmm, San Jose, and that's 12.9%. And yet the Fed says they can't meet their 2%. I mean, honestly, do you really believe it? And what is that really setting up for? That is setting up, in my opinion, this is my opinion, that is setting up for hyperinflation for them to say, well, look at everything is really going the way we planned it. Nothing's going the way they planned it. But they do have a reset in mind. And if we aren't aware of all of this stuff, then they get to do what they want and continue to be in control on the other side of this mess. So 
I want to do a few headlines here. Just on that same note, income drop, layoff slow, U.S. recovery. Yeah, a drop of household income and persistently high layoffs are threatening to further slow the U.S. economic recovery, which appears to be losing momentum. Personal income fell 2.7% in August as enhanced unemployment checks shrank. I mean, we know this is true, and yet the stock market was not happy about the loss of, or that President Trump tweeted that they were not going to come to terms on another stimulus plan until after the election. Now, whether or not that's true, you know, we'll see. We still have a month to go. But I want you to keep in mind that the reason why we have these huge divisions is because, let's face it, Wall Street has been deemed too big to fail, and that's who's really benefiting from this stimulus. That's what the stimulus is all about. Main Street is, is just, continues to be in deep trouble. And, you know, with restaurants and the service industries, which so many people are a part of, you know, mom and pop is hard to survive this. And they are a huge driver of an employment and of income. You know, we need to support them as much as we can, but I don't know who's going to be left standing. Having said that, that also means on the other side of this, there are even more opportunities. So keep that in mind. So don't lose the entrepreneurial spirit. Just pay attention to what's going on. Figure out what your niche is. And if you're an entrepreneur, there will be opportunities opportunities for you. And if you hold your wealth intact, there will definitely, definitely be opportunities for you. That's the point of gold. That's its single most important function is to hold its value intact over time. Markets are easily manipulated. Physical gold, not so much. Physical silver, not as much. But those derivative contracts, so the spot gold contracts, the spot silver contracts, easy and cheap to manipulate. Okie dokie. Treasuries, this is a big one. This is a really big one. I'm going to dive more into this. Treasuries lose status as safety net for investors. This is actually pretty huge because we're told that the flight to safety is into treasuries. But what is a treasury? It's a bond. What is a bond? It's debt. You cannot fix too much debt problem with even more debt. It can work for a while, but it can't work permanently. I'm seeing today some increases in interest rates. Nothing that has me spooked just yet, but I'm going to keep a close eye on this. And if this is actually true, because this is from today's paper, well, from Tuesday, October 6th paper, a reliable link between stocks and government bonds that defined a popular investment strategy for decades has broken this year. Some investors worry the rupture is permanent. Yeah, I think the rupture could be permanent. But what backs the currencies? Any currency. Well, fiat currency, not real money, but fiat currency. The full faith and credit of the government. So if you translate that, as long as you trust them, you have faith, then you will continue to loan them money, extend them credit. Confidence is the key in any Ponzi scheme. This is the biggest one ever, and it will be the biggest decline ever. If you have gold, that's your real safety net and physical silver physical, out of the system. Okay, uh, I love this one as well. States move to claw back overpayments to jobless. So states accidentally overpaid thousands of people over the spring and summer during a rush to get relief to unemployed workers. Now they want the money back. But the individuals didn't even necessarily know that they were being overpaid because if they got a big check, they just thought it was catch up because they waited so long to get it. And a lot of people never really got it. 
And today I was listening on CNBC and they're releasing something like a hundred million dollars in stimulus checks to incarcerated people. Okay. The bottom line is, is that we all need to sustain our standard of living. And the best way to do that, because food becomes the biggest issue. I mean, we all saw what happened to the grocery stores in March and April. But so, you know, having a little garden, aquaponic, in, in an apartment, you can put up a shelf, put a 10 gallon fish tank underneath, and you can at least grow fresh greens. If you can't do that, you can get sprouting seeds, broccoli seeds are the most nutritious, Rinse them off for three days. Wow, you've got live food. But the whole mantra, which is so important, and we need to be moving forward. You, you can't, the time to procrastinate is long gone, long gone. Food, water, energy security, barterability, wealth preservation, community, and shelter. This is what we all need. Look at where you're weakest and start to plug those holes as quickly as you can because my fear is, is that we are fast running out of time. And if this is true, treasuries lose status as safety net for investors, I'm gonna dig more deeply into that one. I'm gonna put it over here so I don't forget. I mean, if that's true, then we are closer than you would ever imagine. And without one doubt, it is time to cover your assets. And you do that with the wealth shield, which is made up or part of a big part of it, physical gold and physical silver. And interestingly enough, that's what we do at ITM trading. If you're talking to any of our consultants, they've been trained in the strategy that I am executing for myself, but it is customized and tweaked to your goals and what you have to work with. So just click that Calendly link below if you want to talk to any of our consultants and set up a time to meet with us. Because frankly, all of us here at ITM are here to be of service. So until tomorrow, please be safe out here. Bye-bye.